In this demo, we see how we add guardrails and evaluate a banking chatbot using model monitoring and continuous fine tuning techniques. This way, we can increase the robustness and reduce risks from our application. The architecture is such as you have a client. This client is talking to a chatbot application uh, with its application logic using Langchain. The application uses an LLM server that hosts an uh, open source fine tuned model. So there's a query and reply to that model. All those queries and replies are being logged into a Kafka stream and from there to the LLM monitoring and evaluation framework in ML Run using a plugin that we'll see. Uh, all the data is stored from the logging and monitoring is stored in a in a object storage and used later on to fine-tune the the model, the LLM model. There is a ML pipeline that takes the data from the monitoring, does some additional data processing, the LLM fine-tuning to generate the fine-tuned model, test and evaluate so we verify that the model is actually good, and then storing that new newly tuned model in the model registry in ML Run. Once the model is stored, we can do a rolling upgrade and update the LLM server with the improved model with better guardrails, less risk, better accuracy, and that will immediately impact the application performance. In this demo, we're not going to do it fully automated and scheduled. We're going to do it interactively with some simple changes. Everything can be moved in ML Run to be fully automated. What you could see here is we're going to use a technique called LLM as a judge to use one LLM, in this case OpenAI GPT-4, to evaluate the results of our open source LLM model, which is tuned for this specific banking application. So the first thing we need to do is we generate an MRN project, we enable the monitoring, we're building the evaluation function, which evaluates the results of the LLM or our chat application. In order to build the evaluation function, we have some data set that we created that shows what's a good banking question or a not good banking question. We're just going to use that as a reference to test our evaluation function. Then we build the evaluation function using, again, this technique called LLM as a judge. We build a prompt. The prompt is evaluating the question and the answer and telling us if the answer fits a banking application. Like if you're asking for something in the supermarket or asking to who is the president, it's not a banking application. So that will essentially say that this is not a banking application response. So it was essentially not guardrail. So we build this evaluator. We want to see that the evaluator actually works. So we take the test data set and we see that the evaluator actually correctly so which was a banking question, a banking answer, and which was it. Now we want to take this evaluator that we built and leverage MLRun's ability to build evaluation or monitoring plugins. So I can essentially build my own monitoring function for drift, accuracy, hallucinations, and whatever other application I want, and plug it in the MLRun model monitoring. So it builds dashboards, it generates data sets and could be used for fine tuning and so on. So this is where we're just setting a model monitoring function and deploying it. This essentially generates a serverless function which will be used for monitoring the, the model. Then we deploy a model server. In MRN you can deploy a LLM server using some hugging face models. In this case, the Google uh, Gemma 2B. Um, it takes GPUs, it auto scales, it's very fast, very high performance. So we can again deploy that model. And it now we have a running endpoint of this model serving function. Now, what we're going to do next, we're going to just uh, send a bunch of questions to the endpoint of the, the model and see if it really responds well or not. This will be used for, for us to monitor, to look at the monitoring dashboard to see how is the model behaving in terms of risk. So right now we use the model which does not have the guardrails. So uh, again, we're running all of this. And if I'm opening the Grafana dashboard, 
for the model monitoring, what you can see, because there are no guardrails, and I ask questions which are not banking, I get very bad results, a lot of failure on the uh, guardrails. So what we will need to do now is take the data set that was generated, uh, and based on that data set, we will tune the data set from the evaluation, we'll tune, fine tune the model. Before, let's just see the chat in action. So you can see that it's really doesn't have the guardrails here. Okay, now we can see the fine tuning process. We're taking the data set that was generated from the evaluation, running an MRUN training function. We won't run a full pipeline, but again, to build an automated schedule pipeline in MRUN, it's, it's really simple. Uh, you see we're training the, the model. We have a newly generated uh, model that we're going to now deploy. And uh, now using LRUN, we'll do a rolling upgrade for the LLM server. Again, just putting the new version of the model and running deploy. This will substitute the old version of the LLM server with the new version. And our application will immediately work with that. There's no need to change anything. Um, and again, this could all be automated as part of an automated and scheduled pipeline. And once we have this new one, then we can run the same questions we had before and see that the model monitoring actually shows us now that most of the questions have passed, everything is good. And again, if we'll run it again and again and again, we're going to move from 80% to 95 or even more uh, accuracy. And we could even add more and more guardrails to essentially improve the application. Let's see the same thing in action in the chat for a second. Good. So what we've seen is, you know, how we took a baseline application, we added evaluation, so now we know exactly if we are having risks or not, and we fixed it by continuously improving the model over time, so, you know, it's actually getting better and better and better. So thank you.